Uh oh. We get the radioactivity going on. Oh, you can hear, like, my, uh, radometer. I don't even think that's what it's called. You can hear, like, the clickety-clackety sound of the thing that measures radioactivity on my suit, I guess. I can't hit that. Can I stomp on it? Oh, there we go. I'm trying to conserve some ammo. I know I'm going to be using a fuckload of it once we actually get into that ship. And, uh, you'll see why when I get in there, because there's, there's a new, there's a new enemy type. But I don't want to spoil it. But there's a new enemy. And they're fucking scary as shit. And I fucking hate them so much. Probably gotta, like, get up on one of these platforms or else I can't actually reach it properly. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. What was that? Oh, goodness gracious. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't do this to me, bro. You do not do this to me. You want to piss on me? No, you not even get a chance. And I think I got... I don't know how many enemies there are in total. Radioactive but material removed. Radioactive material removed. Radioactive material removed. It's not at all what he sounds like. I'm just a terrible person removed. and I mock people for the fun of it. Because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> There's really no other removed. way to describe myself. There's probably another one. So yeah, there it is. Can I reach it? Oh, I can't fucking reach it. I gotta get a little higher. How's my air? I got plenty of air. Can my kinesis reach it? Perfect. Oh, I didn't even notice this little fucker. Cool. Now that's that. Now I just gotta get rid of this motherfucker. Get his plasma energy. And... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that was scary. That made me clench my butt so hard. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I think that's where I go. Yeah, this is where I go. Go, go, go. Yeah. Objective completed. Oh, right. I got it. That is the new enemy type. Oh my fucking god. I hate those things so much. They're spooky as hell. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. The part you're for will be in the engine room at the back of the ship. I'm reading massive damage, so you may need to find an alternate route to get there. Uh, the battery is like stuck inside, and oh my god, I don't like this fucking ship. I really don't like this ship. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the valor right now. I gotta go to bed soon. I don't want to have fucking nightmares of twitchy ass necromorphs trying to touch my butt. Oh, he's there. Oh my god, I fucking hate those things. <laughs> Where'd he go? I know. Uh, you see him two times like that. The infection process is doing something strange to these soldiers. They all have built-in stasis units in their body armor. The infection is merging the stasis unit into their flesh or something. They want to move fast. Real fast. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, I know about the fast-moving necromorphs. I don't need to hear it, Hammond. You don't have to remind me that I'm up against really freaky-ass enemies. Let's get my breathing controlled really quick, because I know it's going to go haywire as soon as I fucking have to fight these things. Oh my god, and the fucking sounds they make is so fucking creepy. Please just... Leave me alone. Fuck, I don't even remember where to go. I gotta go that way? Oh, right, this is like a puzzle sort of thing. Uh, kind of, sort of. I gotta go this way. Alright, and... <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Please stop. Come back here. And then, no. Come back here and... Oh, you freaking poop sack. Fine. No, 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 don't lock me in here with that thing. Don't you dare lock me in here with that thing. I need a way out. I saw him fucking go this way. Oh my god, I hate these fucking close quarters. Because I know what the hell I'm fucking stuck in here with. Like, how did he get out of here? Can I move this back? Oh, thank god I can move this back. There's at least some kind of opening right there. 
fuck was that? I have to close myself in or no? Hey, cool. I don't think there's any reason for this to be open anymore. I think it'll actually give me a little more space on the other side if I keep it somewhere over here. I hope. Because I'm not claustrophobic, but I have claustrophobic tendencies in situations like this. Okay, I think I made it. Oh my fucking god. Like, if that doesn't creep you out... Yeah, oh my god, that's so fucking creepy. Okay. He's actually going to attack me this time, so I have to shoot him. I don't even want to see that thing move. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Oh, and there's another one. Fuck. Alright, I'm going to let you see what the fuck these things are all about. <laughs> oh, I don't like you. I really don't like you. Oh, shit. And they're like really... They're not normal necromorphs, obviously, but like... They're bigger. And much scarier. And they do more damage, if I'm not mistaken. I see another one. Where are you gonna fucking go? No. Thank god I'm not dealing with like the dark versions of these necromorphs. Thank god. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a way... Uh, yeah, you can you can get more stuff, like more junk, if you go back through here. It's not a lot, but something. Don't think it activates anything weird. If I'm mistaken, well, then I'm just going to shit my pants, so... It's all good. Oh, man. This brings back some haunting fucking memories, I'll tell you what. The Valor? And everything past the Valor is, is just... I hate it. Because it's... Stop. Just quit with the freaking me out shit. I'm on edge right now. You'll notice I'm not as happy as I was because I'm really sad right now. Because <laughs> I don't... I don't like being in the situation that I'm in. As the... You fucking shit. You fucking shit. I hit you with a damn giant ass metal object. You should have at least been stunned or something or knocked over. I don't care. I need that. Yep, I definitely need that. I'm probably going to be spraying a lot of ammo because it's hard to hit these fuckers when they move. They dodge your fucking attacks too. They're not like programmed to know when you pull the trigger or anything, but they do sidestep every so often when you're shooting at them. I'm tracking your position, but it doesn't look like I can reach you. This damn ship was nearly shared in half. I made it to the bridge. It's a mess here. These poor bastards didn't stand a chance. I'm going to override all door locks so you can get to the engine room. I'll try and catch up with you there. I still find it so unbelievably ridiculous that all this happened in a matter of like... Well, who knows how long it took. Considering... I don't trust this. I thought it was going to be alive and like try to spook me or something, but nope. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't, I don't trust any of these fucking things. I don't trust anything in this ship at the moment. Nor ever will I trust anything in this ship, just because... I mean, how can you trust anything in this ship? It's already tried to kill me as soon as I step foot inside of it with really creepy ass, super sped up necromorphs that twitch like godforsaken creatures from hell to upper deck. Wait, what about this? Cargo room. Oh, well, that's obviously not a way. So what's the point of having a battery there? Take this battery, maybe? Oh my god, it made it dark over here. Shit. Okay, let's just uh let's just take this battery. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it for some reason. When I go over here. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no! Oh, it's just those things. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Because I didn't see anything when it fucking opened. I still don't know a good way to kill these things. I guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, it looks like Force Gun's actually really good against these things. Ugh. That was freaky as hell, because I was like looking at the ground waiting for one of those fast necromorphs to land on the ground. I didn't see anything, and then all of a sudden I heard like something over in the left corner of my in my surround sound, and it spooked the shit out of me. So I did need this battery eventually, and by eventually I mean like in a few seconds. So planning ahead, get you get you places. Mr. Clark, I need to speak with you. My name is Terence Kine, Doctor Kine. Listen to me. There isn't much time. If you really can repair the shuttle, there is a better use for it than just running away. You must understand, the forces at work here are greater than you can imagine. If you leave now, you condemn all humanity. The planet will never stop, never rest unless the marker is returned. Don't you see? The church is wrong. This is all a trap. I've seen it. Please, you must help me. Dude, I trust you more than... Oh, fucking... Fucking, fuckity, fuckity, fuck. What's that? What's that noise? I don't know what that noise was. What is that noise? I think it's a person. Oh my god, it's dark as hell in here. Fuck this shit, dude. Oh, fuck this. Something's gonna try to spook me. There's no way a dark ass hallway like this is just gonna let me by. Oh my fucking god, this sucks so much. Holy shit, it's so dark. Like, it's not just video, it's literally I can't see shit unless a spark flashes like that or I have my flashlight ahead of me. I can't see shit. Don't don't make any extra noise. I don't need any unnecessary noises right now. What the fuck is that? Another one of you? Really? Okay. It's no big deal as long as I can keep it at bay. I hear another one, like, directly to my right. I swear to God I do. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's just one of these things. There we go. Hey, I killed... Whoa. Oh, uh, oh, no, no, no. Yep, I heard you. I heard you that time. <laughs> God damn it, I want you to go in the gravity panel. Motherfucker! These things have, like, really fucking weird messed up physics when you pick them up with kinesis. Like, I'm not doing that. It's just doing it on its own. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I need something to cheer me up right now. Something to make me laugh. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking go insane. I'm going to fucking go insane right now. Stop. That doesn't make me laugh. You pieces of shit. Oh, well. At least I'm getting some goodies now. So, it's not all bad. Okay, what's going down here? Hey, weapons. Those are pretty cool looking weapons. I wish I could get one of those. Actually, it kind of just looks like a normal pulse rifle, so... Audio log. This is Commander Cadigan. We have hostiles on board. This is not a drill. Hostiles are alien, <gasps> repeat, alien, and extremely dangerous. All personnel have weapons ready and fire at will. I found the shooting range. I'm probably just going to speed this up because uh, nobody wants to watch me shoot fucking targets. But I don't want to completely cut it out either because it's kind of... Oh yeah, you get infinite ammo too. So the better upgraded your... Uh, don't shoot the blue guys. The better upgraded your gun is, the easier this is. Never have to reload. So um, it's just really your fire rate. Yeah, I guess it's just your fire rate that determines how easy this will be 
but you just got to beat the score per level. Um, I guess I'll explain it during the first level and kind of speed up the rest because I think there's five in total and you get a power node or something like that at the end. Woo, level up. Hey, force energy. Look at that. Think we can go to level two now? Uh, start. Level two. And it looks like you just have to get more points each time. And every time you hit a blue guy, you lose points, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how many. Maybe 200. Maybe only 100. Because it's 100 every time you kill a red one. So, I don't know. It's pretty fun. Kind of like, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have played Left 4 Dead 2. But that weird egg Eggman shooting game that gets you the gnome that you have to carry through the whole fucking mission of the campaign in Dark Carnival. Oh my god, I did that shit. I even did the uh, gnome to the moon achievement. Send send it to the moon. Send the gnome to the moon. I don't even know. You have to basically get a gnome at the very beginning of one of the half-lifes and carry it through the entire fucking game until you made it to the uh, stupid rocket that you shoot into space or whatever to the moon. I don't even fucking know anymore and like set it inside of it before you launched it and that's how you got the achievement it was kind of ridiculous i don't know why i fucking put the effort into getting that stupid achievement but it felt so good when you get it it must have been worth it because i did it so but then again <laughs> there's a lot of shit i've done in life where it really wasn't worth doing but i did it anyways because i'm not very smart oh no oh no let's get this shit Nope. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ooh, that's awesome. Yep. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we can't get the shank. I'm gonna drop something in the fan. Oh, here's our fucking good one. Music on that side, whatever. Okay. Alright, two last one. Yep. Ooh. I'm a beast, motherfuckers! Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it took us all the way back to level 1. Fuck that shit. Oh, I got a power node. I actually have two power nodes I think I can use to upgrade stuff, so I might as well do that really, really quick. Um, I kind of want to finish off. I want to top off this plasma cutter. So, uh, let's do that. And... Work towards that last speed upgrade. Max this shit out. Cause this gun is a boost. It's already got maxed out damage, so it's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. The improved fire rate's really only gonna help for like spraying, spraying prey moments. You are seriously holding your own leg, dude. That leg is fucking massive. Holy shit. Oh my god. He just like went into a vortex orgasm and fucking died because of how amazing it was. That's not actually what happened. Don't tell anybody the lies that I speak to you. Oh my god. Just fucking roasted some guy's dead body. I guess Isaac really wants to come back and eat that later. Will do, Isaac. We will come back for that roasted dead body once it's fully cooked. How do you like your... What the fuck? Oh shit. Well, that kind of explains what's going to happen if I touch that laser. I'm getting addicted. It's like coding. I know that it's changing. The way I think in my brain. Trying to see the life that we've never seen. Trying to leave.